Hello and welcome to seleniumelearn.com. Here is a very short video to show you how we developed a data-driven test automation framework in our training program using our Selenium RC with JUnit. So to do this, we took about seven to eight sessions. We wrote uh, every bit of code uh, in the class to show the team how this is developed, how it can be built, designed, built, and maintained. And we have used uh, two different applications uh, to develop this framework. So I'm going to show you a very quick overview, uh, not at a technical length, not at a detail level, but just to show you the power of how we could implement and look at what kind of a result we will get when we work with or create a data-driven framework. So primarily, both these applications, uh, to start with chasetrendloans.com, has a lot of manual steps. Each of the steps have been automated by writing our own Selenium script or steps in the IDE instead of using a record method. And then we created our test data, a collection of different sets of data that we can use to execute. Here is a sample of that data on which we will do a test run. The intent is that my JUnit code through Eclipse will read the entire Excel information from this Excel sheet, understand what to do on each of these. For example, if it has to take values from each of these fields, put that in the application, get the results from the application, put them here, and then be able to compare and see if the result is a pass or a fail. And all this is done using a Selenium server or a remote control. And once I have my remote control launched, I can go to my Eclipse and run the code. So if you look at it at detail, each of these function calls will show you what we do, how we do a setup, how we do a run the real test, what do we do at the end of the test. For each of the test steps, for example, going into the application, entering the values and getting the results, they have been expanded in these reusable functions how we compare different values at the Java level and so on. And at the end, we have three functions basically which handle our reading from an Excel, writing back into an Excel sheet, and how we need to convert some of the cells in the Excel into a string format so that we could use them. Now, let's do a quick run to show you what happens uh, when I do a run. So primarily, in my folder, you would see after the run is completed, a new Excel sheet generated with the results out there. So I'm going to do a quick test run to show you the demonstration of it. So as soon as I hit run, my console will start showing all the steps that are going to be performed. And you will slowly see the test runner for the server and the application getting launched automatically in Firefox. You would see all the steps being done very, very quickly how the Selenium server interacts with the browser to put in the values, get the output values, and then write them back into the Excel. So hardly a minute, and we have executed plenty of test data rows. And now we can go very quickly into this and see this is the result file that we generated. So once I open that, you would see for each of the test data rows, the result is a pass for every set of data. So then uh, we took the same framework that we developed and then we customized that onto a new application, uh, sets of application called Modgage Calculator. In here, we put all the steps again, what we're going to do in Selenium as we progress developing these frameworks, what are the components we developed and so on. The test data out here, the one addition that we did is we put an execute flag here. We said, we will have hundreds of sets of test data, but every time we may not want to run the same set of data. We might want to run a specific subset of that test data. To do that, we could collect and uh, sorry, select the specific data we want to execute with a yes flag. So everything else that remains no will not get executed. So let's do this test run for this. And similar to what we saw, we will get another results file out here after the test run on this. So very similar code, uh, how we go through a uh, setup, how we go through the test, how we finally stop and kill the Selenium server at the end. Uh, 
this public string app1 is a reusable function that we created that would handle the selenium commands on the application first application so the functionality of this application is very simple we enter different sets of uh, loan parameters in terms of what is the kind of loan we're taking the loan amount the term rate interest taxes and so on the intent is at the end it will give us a specific uh, result of what a monthly payment will look like now that we get the result I am using the same set of data on a second application to perform the same steps and get the value from a second application and then comparing these two to see if these two are matching with our need or not or are they giving us different results so if I can quickly go here and let's say that we randomly select some of them and we sell unselect some of this data we put no in certain areas and let's say we put yes in some of these areas so now I've selected a subset of this data so I'm going to quickly save this close this file come back to my clips with my server still continuing to run I'm going to run this test as a JUnit test so similar to what we saw earlier uh, we read through the Excel we get the data then the selenium test runner and the browser will get launched the browser will then start selenium will set, then start to put in values go to the first application get that value of monthly payment back navigate to the second application perform the same steps and repeat this process for all the data items that we selected as yes so the whole intent is that people or users who are not technical do not have to go to a Java level or a code level to execute this kind of a framework so a lot of business users who are doing a UAT or your development team or your business analyst or non automation test engineers could simply choose what data to run this test on and see how the applications behave for different sets of data so just outside of this they can simply maintain the Excel and the whole results should come populated so you would notice that for all the items that got selected yes only those rows got executed and you would see that the results wherever didn't match we got a fail wherever they matched we got a pass so that's how we are able to build and see this kind of a powerful effectiveness for a data driven framework Thank you so much for listening into the short demonstration. Hope it gave you a quick overview of the idea. And uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, I will also publish how we develop a keyword-driven automation framework and a hybrid framework using Selenium along with JUnit. Take care, everyone. Bye.